Welcome to FixItForgetIt.com Where projects and ideas come together Hi, this is John from FixItForgetIt.com We're going to have a look at sewage pumps and early warning systems for your sewage pump. I am about to do one of my least favorite jobs in the world which is replace that sewage pump. I do not like anything about this job. It is gross. But when they fail, it's something you have to deal with. One thing you do not want to have happen is for your sewage pump to fail, not be aware that it has failed, and have that mess come up out of there and get all over your floor. Uh, in some situations, it could even get out into carpeting and it could really be a mess to deal with so you want to avoid that if at all possible and I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I put an early warning system on here and I'm not going to do a how-to video of how to install this pump there are plenty of those around and that would be boring and redundant so I do want to tell you that this pump is made by Wayne and it's private labeled and sold by Ace. It used to be sold under the brand name Rigid as well. I don't know if it still is or not. This pump has a plastic housing and we have a water softener. I've read comments that say if you have a water softener and you use a cast iron sewage pump that it will rust out in pretty short order. I don't know if that's true or not. The first sewage pump that we had when we moved into this house about 26 years ago was cast iron. It only lasted a couple years. I like these float switches that come up and that first cast iron pump had a little oh, sort of a, a rod coming up with a little float system on there and it would come up as the water would rise and flip a switch. It would get uh, jammed all the time and it was just a nightmare. Did not like it at all. So this is going to be my third Wayne pump and I've been pretty happy with these these pumps seem like in my case they last about eight or ten years that may not sound that great but this house uh, was designed in a really inefficient way they put most of the house so the kitchen the dishwasher a little half bath the utility sink um, you know, the washing machine, all of that stuff dumps down into this sewage pump and that little rascal really gets worked and hammered hard in this house. So if I can get eight or ten years out of it, that's pretty good. So they're just over 200 bucks in most cases and uh, if I can get ten years out of that, that's okay. As to the early warning system, I really have three things on here. This is a little watchdog alarm, water alarm, and it has a couple of contacts on the bottom. This snaps up in there, and you can stand them up like this. But the way I use these, I take this wire out, cut it off of this little bottom plate, and then I solder these wires onto a real long wire and then that I have connected to a couple of stainless steel rods that go down into the waste pump when the water comes up and makes contact with those probes it will set this alarm off now at the other end of this wire and this thing goes way up into the ceiling and I took it way across my basement ceiling 
and just laid it up in we have a, a drop ceiling in the basement and I placed it in the ceiling tiles I just lay it in there on top of a tile and I soldered in a little on off switch on this thing as well just a little flip switch that I can turn it on and off so when water hits that I have this positioned about right in the center of the home right in the middle of uh, the ceiling right under the living room floor so that when this thing goes off we're very likely to hear that it's a pretty shrill little noise I also have a second backup which is this little water alarm it just has a couple of contacts on the back and I just set that right on top of this and if this fails that'll pick it up and the last thing I have which I really can't recommend is this little UMA water alarm that's a Wi-Fi water alarm that's supposed to send a signal to your uh, smartphone app it's been a little iffy kind of hit and miss that is the probe right there and I get some false alarms and things with that so I really can't recommend it the last thing I'll show you is this if you've ever had a water pump fail what they do is they'll kick on and they push water up this vertical line right there that stack PVC pipe and if they fail and they have pushed water up into this pipe and then the pump dies you have a bunch of water in there and it can really be a mess you know if you unhook all this stuff and all that water comes down out of there you have a nightmare so the last time I did this I put this little mechanism on here it's just uh, put a elbow in there and put this little gate valve on so if this thing fails and I have water up in that stack I can just slowly open this little gate valve I can put a little short piece of hose on there hook that up put this into the hose in a bucket and slowly open that and drain that mess out of there before I start uh, working on this thing so I uh, hope those tips help you. I'm going to get started on this nightmare. And I appreciate you stopping by to have a look at this. Hopefully those early warning tips and that drain tip will help you out some. I will have some affiliate links to some of these products down in the description. This is John from FixItForgetIt.com. I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you in the next video.